Hi, I'm Vinay Vishwambaran. I'm presenting alongside Hong Su. We're going to be talking about some of the imagery and remote sensing capabilities in ArcGIS. Many of you have seen this slide or versions of the slide before. We talk about ArcGIS being a comprehensive imagery system. It's really about five key areas we can help you with. Image management to manage large volumes of imagery, image mapping to create authoritative maps and products from imagery that is collected by drones, aerial sensors, or satellites. Image analysis with advanced analytical tools to extract location-based information from imagery. And then lastly, visualization and exploitation capabilities that leverage human interpretation to extract information from imagery. The result is a rich system for anything users want to do with imagery. So today, my colleague Hong and myself, we'll go through a couple of demonstrations as well to showcase how you can use the RTI system to solve your marine spatial problems. Coral reefs are home to 25% of marine species, making them one of the most important ecosystems on the planet. Unfortunately, reefs worldwide, they face many risks, including global climate change. Warmer ocean temperatures, they cause coral bleaching. I'll dive into a scenario where we use ArcGIS image for ArcGIS Online to perform predictive analysis and identify regions in the coral triangle that are susceptible to bleaching. Now, you've probably seen me show this example in the past, but I've shown this powerful piece of analysis done using ArcGIS Pro and ArcGIS Enterprise. Now, this robust analysis can now be performed completely in a web-based SaaS environment. There is no infrastructure I've needed to stand up for my processing. For my analysis, I'll use the sea surface temperature data set from the Living Atlas. This is a multi-dimensional data cube containing more than 12,000 daily slices of imagery. But here's our area of interest, the coral triangle. I really just need a subset of the larger data set. So using the new extract tool, that's part of ArcGIS image for ArcGIS Online, We've clipped out the imagery we want to work with and created this multi-dimensional layer in our ArcGIS Online account. To predict future sea surface temperatures, first we need to create a time series trend model. And ArcGIS image for online now provides a series of tools, including a multi-dimensional tool to generate our trend model. We provide the input raster, specify the parameters, and run. I've run this in the interest of time, and here is our result. In this trend raster, the trend is estimated at each location, and the result shows SST trends for each location over time where areas in purple indicate increasing temperatures. Next, using raster functions, we can continue our analysis. Online provides you with access to more than 150 functions out of the box. Let's use the predict function. Here you can provide the trend data set as an input, and we'll predict our sea surface temperature out to 2030. The resultant layer is a sea surface temperature layer predicted out to 2030. We used a series of geoprocessing tools to calculate the longest time at which higher than average temperatures will be experienced. That leads to bleaching. The areas susceptible to bleaching are rendered in red. With this information, reef managers can engage in actions that would help to reduce other stressors on the reef that can exasperate thermal stress. Finally, we can extract the results into coral reef polygons in the coral triangle, and then we can communicate this high-level information through an interactive dashboard which gives us a dynamic view of coral stress for varying periods of time predicted into the future. So that was just one example of using ArcGIS image for ArcGIS Online for marine spatial planning. And with that, I'll hand it over to my colleague, Hong Su, who's got more analysis lined up for you using ArcGIS Pro and ArcGIS Notebooks. Thanks, Vinay. More and more times, there's the imagery of ocean weather and climate data are available. And this data needs to be processed using advanced algorithms to extract meaningful information. 
ArcGIS provide a suite of multidimensional analysis tools. And in Pro 2.9, we introduced a new multidimensional principal component tool for spatial and temporal pattern analysis. I'm going to use the new tool to analyze sea surface temperature pattern to understand how ocean dynamics can impact the weather and the climate and eventually impact our social and economic activities. To start, I add the input data stored in ZAR format, which is a new industry format for storing Earth data in the cloud and supported in Pro 2.9. The layer added is a multidimensional rust layer containing monthly sea surface temperature for 39 years. And then I use the new multidimensional principal component tool to create component outputs for analysis. Based on eigenvalues, I choose four components which account for over 99% of the variance of the original data. The first component extract the overall spatial and seasonal pattern of season temperature. In the component raster, the brown area means warmer temperature and the green means colder temperature. You can see the Gulf Stream current is separated by the warmer water from the south and the cold water flowing down from the north. The second component shows a clear annual north and the south oscillation caused by wind and the pressure. And the third component is associated with upwelling when wind and currents bring the cold, nutrition-rich water to the surface and cause surface temperature to drop. The green areas along the coasts are coastal upwelling. You can see from the chart, upwelling is pronounced in wintertime, which is a season for fishing productivity and biological activities. The fourth component identifies El Nino and La Nino events that occurred in the Pacific Ocean every few years, show as brown color. The spike in the chart are 1983, 97, 2015, which are the strong El Nino years that cause social and economic impact to the regions across the globe. Same workflow can be done using notebooks. Here I create a multidimensional layer from ZAR data and compute the principal components using the new tool and analyze components. Analyzing sea surface temperature pattern is just one example of deriving information from time series imagery. You can apply principal component analysis to many variables to unlock information in the scientific data and provide valuable information for governments and the policy decision makers. Thanks.